and Lana Zak, thank you so much for joining us. The White House confirmed Friday that another staffer has tested positive for the coronavirus. That's now two staffers in just two days. The president says that employees will be tested daily to stem the spread. President Trump and the First Lady honored veterans Friday. They opted not to shake hands with those in attendance, but they also chose not to wear face masks. Natalie Brand has the latest from the White House. President Trump announced the vice president's press secretary, Katie Miller, has tested positive for the coronavirus. She hasn't come into contact with me. She spent some time with uh, the vice president. I understand Mike has been tested, vice president, and he tested negative. This comes one day after news that one of the president's valets who served him meals tested positive Wednesday. I do what I have to do. We've taken very strong precautions at the White House. Several aides to the vice president were told to get off an airplane for testing before Pence headed to Iowa to meet with faith leaders and food suppliers. Here in Washington, the president laid a wreath to mark the 75th anniversary of Victory in Europe Day at the World War II Memorial. Though he and the First Lady kept their distance, neither they nor the veterans in attendance wore masks. Did you consider wearing a mask when you were with them, given their... No, that because I was very far away. I appreciate the question. The president's economic advisors warn of a tough economic road ahead after Friday's jobs report showed more than 20 million jobs were lost in April, the biggest drop since the Great Depression. May's going to be a tough month. During a lunch meeting with Republican lawmakers, the president continued to predict an economic bounce back. It's going to be transition to greatness because we're going to do something very fast and we're going to have a phenomenal year next year. House Democrats are calling for a fourth big economic stimulus package to deal with the financial fallout. But Senate Republicans want to wait and evaluate how the multi-trillion dollar measures they've already passed are working. Natalie Brand, CBS News, The White House. For more on this now, I want to bring in Daniel Lippman. He's a Politico reporter covering the White House. Daniel, thanks for joining us. As we just heard, Vice President Pence's own press secretary, Katie Miller, tested positive for COVID-19. Was she traveling with the vice president on any of these recent trips? Uh, she has been.